Hi amazing people, welcome to our channel. My name is Esther and this is QS Fashion Hub. If you're seeing this channel for the first time, yes, you're welcome. Please hit that subscribe button and join the amazing family. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back to watch our videos. Okay, so guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful basket. Um, neckline you can use it for the upper part of your clothes you can use it for a palazzo it can even be a detachable one it can be you can use it for the sleeve also so it, it it's a simple design that you can create that you can use for any part of the clothes so if this is what you want to learn then keep watching now i'm going to be drafting my pattern first on the pattern paper after that i'm just going to go ahead and show you how to perform this magic <laughs> did i just say magic it is very very simple okay so i've drawn my starting line i'm just going to go ahead and impute all my measurements so i'm i'm cutting out the half length first so Right here, I'm putting my back measurements divided by two plus half an inch for my seam allowance, okay? Remember, we're going to be joining the clothes to the sleeve, okay? So for the neckline, I'm using three and half, 3.5 by four inches, okay? 3.5 by four inches. You are free to modify this neckline, okay? You are free to use any neckline of your choice so i'm using three and a half by four inches so after marking i'm just going to draw a straight line and use my french curve to connect my round neck okay it is as easy as abc so i'm being very detailed here because of the beginners okay so that even if you're a beginner you should be able to recreate this okay now after drawing my neckline i'm just going to come down by one inch from my shoulder slope like this so i'm going to connect the points together and draw my shoulder slope like this after that I'm going to go downward and mark my i'm also going to mark um, the back measurement divided by two plus half an inch at that point that you can see i just want to mark it so that it will be easy for me to connect my points together so after that i'm going to mark my arm o depth okay after marking my arm o depth i'm just going to grab my ruler and connect the points together to create my lines okay after that i'm just going to impute my bust measurement my bust your you can impute your bust measurement divided by four then add your seam allowance to it at that part at the waistline i'm going to impute my waist measurement divided by two divided by four my waist measurement divided by four plus my seam allowance so i'm just connecting those two points together like this so after that i'm just going to go ahead and um, create my arm o my arm o curve okay now i'm marking the midpoint of my arm o depth which is three and a half and i come in by half an inch because this is the front ne um this is the front arm o I beg your pardon so i'm just connecting together like this okay very simple and easy so after that i'm just going to determine where i want my basket effect to stop okay so for me i'm going to be using eight inches okay i'm using eight inches okay so i'm just going to um, mark it inches you know we are still going to join it to the lower part okay so i'm adding half an inch to it okay so you can decide to make it seven inches nine inches ten inch depend on what you want to do depend on the design you're creating okay you can modify this okay so i'm just cutting it out i added my seam allowance that i'm going to be using to join it back to the lower part okay 
you can use this for a gown you can use it for a top a palazzo anything a skirt anything is possible with this basket effect so i'm just cutting it out at this point i was just trying to explain that you can make it a v-neck you can just be creative just create whatever is coming to your mind okay <laughs> so i'm just cutting my neck line like this so after that i'm just going to open it up this way and then we're going to start creating our effect our basket effect so i'm using this piece which is measuring um two inches okay it is measuring two inches okay the length is totally optional there's no specific length so it depends on what you're working on so i'm not i'm not i'm going to advise you to um cut your piece don't cut them too long don't make them too long because you're going to turn them inside out if you make it too long it will be very difficult for you to turn it inside out okay so now you're going to fold it into two like this and then you're going to stitch by half an inch all the way down and then i will do that to all the piece and then you're going to turn them inside out and iron them properly okay you really need to iron very well because that's the key to this design we are creating ironing sprinkle your water and iron very well so this is what i got when i was done ironing and turning them inside out though it's going to take a little time it's going to take your time so you, you have to be patient with yourself so after that i'm just going to create the um the space the interval at which i want each each piece to come okay so i'm just going to be marking 1.5 inches you can make it two inches three inches even four five six depend on what you want to create okay so i'm using 1.5 inches remember we are still going to place that uh, those piece on top of the line so by the time we are done it's going to also reduce okay so this is me just marking my 1.5 inch all the way like that just do whatever you think is coming to your spirit and your <laughs> your mind okay you can make it slant whichever design is coming just do it <laughs> so guys i'm just ruling and ruling and ruling out my lines okay and that part also i'm also ruling that part so if you're deriving value from this video please please give us a huge thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i love you guys so after drawing all my lines the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to start i'm going to start <laughs> placing my piece on it like this okay so i'm going to place the first one then the second one that's the second one and then that's i'm going to be placing just watch what i'm going to do there so i'm going to be placing it on top of the first line and then i'm going to stitch on the right side first and then after i'm done stitching it I'm taking my time to explain in details so you understand whatever that was done here okay the magic you think that was performed <laughs> there's no magic anywhere it is very easy and very simple okay now after that you're going to stitch the other part also so you can also decide to just um raise your foot up and then just turn it around and continue stitching okay so just go ahead and stitch like this so after that you're going to place the next one on the line okay that is it basically it is as easy as abc okay very very simple now you're going to place the next one I'm cutting out the excess and then you're going to place the next one on the next line and the third one you keep placing it on 
until you cover all the lines you've drawn okay so after that i'm just placing them trying to explain how you're going to place all of them so at this point i was done arranging and stitching all of them down so now i'm going to turn it the other way the other side like i'm going to be placing it the other way around can you see what i'm doing just watch what i'm doing you will get it okay so i'm just arranging it so you're just going to start placing placing it like this and then place them across like this like this and create a design please make sure you whatever you are doing make sure whatever you are doing is um the same thing okay i don't know if you understand so this is what i got when i was done placing all of them so at this point you're going to pipe the neck you're going to pipe the neck so um use i used 1.5 inches for this um piping this strip that i'm about to use i just cut it out like a bias and then i ironed i ironed cut out an inch inward on both sides and then folded it so i got half an inch by the time i was done that's 0.5 inches and then i just used it to pipe the neck line like this so when i was done this is the final look of this beautiful and cute basket neckline and effects okay so looking at the back can you see the back view so at this point you cannot join it to your lower part please don't remove your paper until you are done joining it to the lower part it can be a peplum that you want to join it to it can be um the other part of the half length okay so i'm not going to be removing the paper because i'm not ready to use it yet i just did this because of the tutorial okay so when you're ready just um remove the papers okay just remove the papers please join it to the other part before you remove your papers okay so that is it basically this is very simple i'm still going to do another tutorial where i'm going to be using this so subscribe hit the notification bell and don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up follow us on all our social media and do please subscribe don't stop learning keep learning see you in the next tutorial Bye bye